Hey my friends, welcome back to Maximo TV. Tonight we are in Silver Lake at the premiere of Lily and Cat. Now you guys, we are talking to the whole cast and Jack Fallahy, check it out. Jessica, Lily and Cat, yeah. have you seen it yet? I did, I saw it up in Toronto um, at the Tiff New Wave Film Festival. Okay, and do you play Lily or Cat? I play Lily. Lily. Yes. Okay, so tell me a little bit about Lily and like what the whole premise of the film is. So Lily is a 20, odd something old year old 20 odd something, something odd. year old 20, 20 odd something. a 20, 20 something somethings. yes thank yes. you a 20 something year old designer a um, fashion designer but kind of is caught in a rut um she loves pretty much partying and fashion and her best friend cat and her best friend and Kat. her best friend cat um but then something happens at the beginning of the movie that sh turns her whole world upside down and it's kind of a coming of age story where she has to grow up and learn how to deal with problems on her own because everything she's been doing up till now just really isn't working too well working. which i can relate to <laughs> right yeah of course everyone so, right when i was watching the trailer it looks like i feel like when i'm watching the trailer is there any like chemistry between the two of you is anything gonna go down I don't know. I guess you're just going to have to watch it. But I mean, you gave me that nod like, yeah. Well, what I will say is Hannah and I were really, really lucky because we've stayed close friends even after and we you, finished. You and guys live across the world, yeah, right? we live across the world, but we Skype. Um, we try to keep in contact like every couple weeks. And it's one of those amazing things about filmmaking that you make friends that last your whole life. And so I feel really lucky. One reason that people must see this show. It is so beautiful, and I think that it also really captures um, the difficulty of breaking up with a best friend and what that means and kind no, of... Wait, you guys break up? Well, like, like a, a friendship. Of, well, at the it, end that's of the worst, though. Okay, so does it end happy at least? Do you guys make up, or is it just the breakup? No, it, it ends... It, it's a new beginning, okay. and, and, you know, we all hope for that I think whenever something ends that you're going on to whether or not bigger or better things different things and um, and yeah I that's what really resonated about the script to me is I think everyone's had those moments not only where they realize kind of like oh I really have to change something about my life because this just isn't working <laughs> but also where you lose someone who's really close to you and suddenly you fit so well and you don't fit anymore and how heartbreaking that is and how you process that, whether it's a boyfriend or a girlfriend or um, a brother or a sister, a parent, that your relationship changes. Tell us a little bit about your character. Uh, so I play Kat, who is an English girl living in New York. Um, she studied fashion there and she's just kind of, she's just really, really out to have a good time all the time. And she's very, um, she's very confident. She's very hedonistic. She kind of lives in the moment and just wants to have like every night is going to be the best night of your life if you're with her. Um, so she was a lot of fun to play. And um, she's kind of flippant and casual about her friendship with Lily and announces early on in the movie that she's going to leave in a week. And yeah. it's kind of like, hey, surprise, I'm going to be gone. And it's about them trying to make the best of this last week together while both being quite angry with each other about the way that it's working. Where out. are you deciding to go? You're just heading out for good? Uh, no, she has a job in London oh, Okay. with her dad's label. She's that kind of, you know, she's kind of obviously comes from a very privileged background. Everything's just kind of working out for her naturally and everything isn't working out so easily for Lily. So I think that makes it also difficult. The drama ensues. <laughs> okay, so how did this project come about for you since were you in England when you heard about the project? Yes, I was in England. I got sent the script and I really, really liked it. Um, and at the time, the dates weren't going to work out. I was doing another project. And so I emailed Michael and I was just like, but I want to be in the movie. I really, <laughs> really want to be Cat. I think it would be so much fun to be Cat. And then luckily they ended up... Um, going slightly later and so I was able to do it um, and yeah it was a great it's a great experience yeah it all worked out what do you really want people to take out of this movie I think it's a really interesting examination of female friendship and how complicated that can be well, I was so when I was watching the trailer I was sensing like some girl love like is there gonna be some like hookup sessions in there I mean, there is, well, there's a hookup session in the trailer, right? That's why you're yeah. kind of implying that. Like, but there's, I, think that, I think that this movie is very much about a platonic romance between these two girls, okay. but I also think that it does explore that idea of, like, it's complicated when you're 
they're both kind of young girls that are into fashion and trying to be really attractive and maybe are attracted to each other sometimes and that's confusing and the thing I find most interesting about the movie that I hope people sort of take from it is that they're two really really different types of girls they're both the way they engage with the world is so so different and the way in which that both like draws them to and repels them from each other is really really fascinating I think and yeah maybe sometimes that means it's a little bit sexy and what's wrong with that what's wrong with that okay what do you play in this movie there's motorcycle it's cool it's casual it's cool. it's fine. okay so Lily and Kat tell yeah. me a little bit about your character in the film yeah I play uh, an artist named Henry who sort of gets in between the the two ladies in the film yeah. I mean, I feel like there's quite the love interest going on between the two of them as well. So are you like mixing stuff up? Yeah, in there? yeah there is a, there, you know, there's definitely a strong friendship vibes between the two of them. And I feel like maybe a little, little, little romance going on. Uh, you know how it is when you like fall in love with your best friend a little bit, maybe. Uh, 20 somethings. Yeah, 20 somethings. Right, exactly. So, uh, so yeah, it's definitely, I get right in the middle of it and it gets complicated. Oh, she's so mean. So mean. <laughs> Yeah. You, I do not believe you. You yeah, seem like you're kind of nice. Oh, you're kind. Um, I play Lily's boss, Agatha, who's uh, really awful to her. <laughs> um, but it was a lot of fun because I think Jessica's fantastic and we had a great time shooting. Where are you guys working? Where are you the bo- What are you the boss of? Um, she works in a boutique, and so I'm the, the evil manager that makes her do horrible <laughs> tasks and the kind of person you would not want to work for. But it was fun. Do you enjoy being a mean person? I feel like you you don't really seem like the mean type. <laughs> on camera, yes. In life, never. But <laughs> well, where um, do you take it from? How do you just like turn the mean on? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, like, what you know, are you... I guess I have, in my day, have had a boss or two that um, has not been the best. And so okay, uh, well. nobody recent. Um, but it was definitely fun to sort of like channel that bully part of myself, which I do not bring out in life. <laughs> Tell me what it was like bringing this story to life, because you actually initially wrote this film, correct? Yeah, yeah. Um, I wrote it after graduating college, funneling all of the anxiety and grief that was growing through my head at the time, um, having to find a job and find a place in the world after getting an education, yeah. Right. And so it's based on two strong female leads. How did, how did how did you want to write based on girls rather than guys, if you're bringing it into yourself? Well, I had the idea of this Anna Karina type um, character, this um, beautiful, world-weary, sad young woman, and I felt like a great way to manifest um, what um, the anxiety she's going through would be to um, have this best friend and her impending departure, yeah. And how did you get involved? Well, um, I was working with uh, Garen Pictures, which is a production company that ended up making this film. And um, at the time, it was a low-budget feature that needed all hands on deck, everyone doing everything they could to make it happen. Um, And it ended up being just kind of like reading the script, liking it, liking the idea, liking how the, the individual banter and nuance of the writing and being like, I want to see this come to life. And so I teamed up with Garen, the producer, and we just pushed and fought and made it all happen. And I mean, we faced some incredible challenges. I mean, there was a hurricane. I was telling them- A hurricane? Yeah, yeah. Where were you guys filming at? We were in New York City during Hurricane Sandy. And oh. so okay. Hurricane yeah. Sandy hit, which was like the most catastrophic hurricane I've ever lived through. Like, and I've been in New York for about 24 years. And we had, within one week, we literally had a blackout, a hurricane, a blizzard, a gas shortage, and like just a million other issues with just dealing that you would have to deal with doing a low budget production, you know? Um, And we just powered through it. I mean, everyone was all hands on deck. Michael was just fighting through and we ended up making this thing, which is crazy to me. I love it. That is here you are today at the premiere. Yeah, which is so exciting. I'm incredibly Happy to see it all come together and conclude this way, you know? All right, you guys, that's going to wrap it up here for us tonight at the Lily and Cat premiere. I'm Ryland Adams. You can find me at Ryland underscore Adams on Twitter. And thanks for checking in with Maximo TV. We'll see you later.